Alright guys, afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever. It's Alex here from Made Up by Tony. Today we're going to do a review on Gearbubble. Yep, it's a new sort of uh, shopfront website basically where you can set up a store um, and add your designs to their products and then they will sell them for you. Well, you will market them, they will sell them and supply them to your customers and handle all the customer service and shipping for you. All you really have to do is sign up and add your designs to some of their products. So. We're going to go through some of the features of this now. Um, it's really cool. Uh, I, I quite like it, but um, read my review. There's there's a couple of caveats. Um, but anyway, so today we're going to go through... Uh, we're going to start by adding another item. Basically, I have a store here uh, that I set up earlier, and uh, I'm just going to add now another item to it, a hoodie. So adding items in Gearbubble is really easy. Um, Pretty much everything has this three-step process where you select something, you add a design, and then you add some text. Um, and it all starts by the big green button, of course, the big green button up here. So click that, and you can launch a new campaign. Um, now I'm going to add a hoodie, which is uh, in the shirts and hoodie section. Uh, so just click that one. Um, yeah, and you can see um, that there, there's a couple of different types of uh, sort of tops, uh, hoodies, tank tops, um, even, even kids' hoodies. And then, yeah, you know, it looks nice. It looks like... Most customization websites, um, of course, this one is, isn't their standard customization website. You, you don't just buy these products yourself, you, you actually sell them. Uh, so yeah, I've got this logo on my desktop, so I'm just going to add it uh, to the hoodie here. It's good, it's got a white background, but it actually, Gearbubble removes it in, in this instance of a, a white hoodie. Um, it doesn't actually in the black hoodie, but it's kind of my fault for not using a transparent background, so do that yourself, definitely, transparent background. Okay, I'll just add another color anyway, so you can see that that's pretty easy to do. Yep, um, and now yeah, add, add some text. Uh, this is the sort of thing that is um, passed about whenever you share the, uh, your, your product on social media. Uh, oh yeah, here, uh, product preview. Um, not sure how accurate this is, but, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to see all the, the dollar signs. Yep, so six day campaigns on uh, Gearbubble, that's the, math, the, the height of what you can do. Um, that's that's alright, because you can have evergreen campaigns and you keep you know refreshing them and changing them. Um, and actually it's a good thing because uh, people don't get their items until after the campaign ends, so it's good to have short campaigns. Uh, you'll see later it actually adds a, a nice sort of countdown timer to, um, to the the uh, sales page <laughs> so that people kind of get a sense of urgency whenever they go to, to buy your item. Yeah, just add a couple of tags there. So this is going into my, my Gearbubble shop. Um, yeah, you know, there's plenty of websites where you can set up a shop, but I mean, you need to have a product to sell normally. Um, th this is really good because you, you don't even need to have a product to sell. You just sign up, uh, stick a, a, a PNG file on, onto some other of their products and uh, away you go. You could, you could literally make a lot of money very quickly um, with no investment, but it's not necessarily what's going to happen. Uh, all of you who do sales out there are like, would know that. Um, but yeah, th this is really good for like charity groups and, and other groups that, that sort of need to raise some funds, but um, don't necessarily want to, to buy a load of hoodies and then have them uh, you know, engraved or, sorry, <laughs> uh, printed on. Yeah, try to have something snappy here. But you see, people read this whenever... Um, I think I think yeah, it comes up in the in the smaller version of um of the uh, the box you see whenever it's shared on social media and things like that. Yeah, so it's worth having something. Uh, the, the payment, yeah, you see there, uh, generates it or guaranteed to PayPal, check out PayPal, Visa, Mastercard. So you, you can have card payments and PayPal payments. Um, PayPal payments are good. Everyone likes them. Um, but you I mean like you don't have to to add the any infrastructure for this. That's obviously just like part of the product. Um, it's part of the service that you get from Gearbubble. Yep, so I think we're about ready to add this. Let's just call it twenty-seven ninety-five, $8 profit, right? I mean, that's not amazing, but it's not bad either, considering all the other stuff that's done for you. I would imagine that Gearbubble have to, to have a lot of sellers selling a lot of items to sort of recoup some of the, the costs of uh, distribution and things. Oh, note there that you have to agree to um, terms of service and say that you you don't you're not stealing anyone else's ideas. Don't do that. That's not nice. In fact, if you could do that and they didn't make you say this, someone could just copy your campaign and uh, masquerade as you on the internet. Uh, you might want to take them to court or something after that. But uh, you know, 
It's good that they do that. <laughs> so there you'll have it. You see the hoodie. It looks very nice. Um, I clicked the button so that you can see the back one. For oh, there you see the black. The black is... Yeah, I needed to make the background transparent. Don't don't blame Gearbubble for that. That was my fault. Um, but yeah, it, it, um, you can see the countdown timer there. You see the, the description. It's cool. Um, it's it's really easy. Uh, I mean, what what more is there to say? So adding adding a store is is pretty much just simple. Um, and adding your items to the store is again just as simple. Oh, and here on this screen on your on your campaign screen, ignore those those other ones. Um. You, you, see, you can see that there's the traffic and sales and you can see how many clicks there's been through your um, through the, the product that you, you're adding uh, yeah here and you see uh, ba, ba, ba. lots of settings for stores well enough um, retargeting there we'll get to that in a bit um, yeah so look there's the items I have in my store now here's my other campaigns and I just add yeah just select and add this one in. where is it oh no yeah the, the button is at the bottom Silly me. Voila. So now I have a store with uh, a load of products that have my design on them. Uh, obviously your design might be a bit better. <laughs> and uh, actually it doesn't cost to have color or anything. And you notice that you can add backs to, to most of these items. So you can add like a, a back to the uh, to another uh Sorry, so you can add like more than one design, um, and you can add your design on, on two sides, and it doesn't cost anything extra. But like I say in my review, um, you don't get much sort of customization, or sorry, you don't get much control over, over how the design's applied to the item. In some cases, it's, uh, you know, it's just printed on, or it's printed on a piece of paper. Um, I think I think with the jewelry, like the pendants and stuff, it's like printed on a piece of paper. Um, but, you know, don't don't worry about that. Uh, Binnies and hats, uh, yeah, the... To, to use them, you need to make 100 sales first. Um, I think I come across this in the video here. Yeah, you see all those reasonable prices. I don't know, 15.95 for a mug. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother with, but you know, it's got my special design. So yeah, go for it. Yeah, so buyer confidence has increased through things like this. Look, there you see, it looks like a proper buyer website. Um, and then you know, click now. So, so all this stuff is just sort of added, and oh yeah, better, bigger prices, bigger sizes. All this stuff is just sort of added for free, and in fact, entirely for free, because you don't even need to pay any money into Gearbubble to use it, which is pretty cool. Can you complain? No. And then yeah, like check out things like that. Notice here, six ninety five for U.S. priority meal shipping to Alabama. <laughs> um, yeah, so it takes. 40 to 72 hours to print, and then after that it ships out between two and three weeks. You'll see a lot of complaints about uh, long deliveries from this site. Um, they've only gone a few months, so um, don't worry too much. But yeah, look look at that. Now it's $15 and four to six weeks. Oh. But I mean, they do ship to anywhere in the world, so if, if time wasn't a factor for your sales, you know, it'd be great. I, I do hope that they speed this up because it's kind of like a bad thing. Uh, but yeah, adding a store is really easy too. Um, like you get these like three designs. That one there has like some sliding. The one on the right, sorry, has some sliding uh, backgrounds that you can have. Custom slider, ooh. Custom banner, ooh. And then basically you just, you just add text and stuff. It's kind, of, it's kind of exactly like adding an item. You pick one and you, you add some designs and text to it. And then yeah, you can change your URL. Um, you know, this is good. Uh, they'll just give you some auto-generated crap. They give you something that sort of looks good on Facebook and things like that. Um, and that you could remember. Gearbubble.com slash GB store slash your store. We have other things um, like, you know, discount codes and things like that. Um, this is cool. Uh, you know, this is the sort of thing that generates a lot of interest in sites and it can get people to, to buy from you and then maybe even come back just because they, they had a good time and they, they were happy with their purchase. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to add a $10 discount for staff from the company. <laughs> Make even less money. 
minus two dollars profit. I'm not actually sure how Gearbubble will manage um, minus profits. Uh, I guess, I guess you probably would have to pay them if your campaign went into the negative. But they do say there's no charge, so <laughs> maybe, maybe that'll be something to email them about. So yeah, you can see that you get like some reports on on the clicks through uh, your website. If you had made sales, unlike myself, you would have um, some sales there. Very nice. I imagine they will add more graphs and things to this. Um, like there's even that data could could be could be stretched a lot further. And obviously they have other data they just haven't started uh, exposing yet. Or I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Facebook retargeting pixels, things like that. Um, this is useful for obviously making your Facebook page to help you actively sell your products and things like that. So keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, change your notification settings. I, I love settings, it's great. Um, oh yeah, you can add leads. Um, there, you can see those ones there. I'm sure they will add more at some point, um, but this is good, you know. Again, you didn't have to understand how they work, you just have to go and enable them, basically. So yeah, gear bubble, it's pretty cool. I love that big green button. So I'll just add another item here and show you. Um, let's go for, oh yeah, being easy. Yeah, look, there you see. Sorry. You need to make at least 100 sales on the platform uh, because it's uh, threaded and not inked. Which is, um, it's okay, but if you wanted to sell hats, that would kind of be annoying. I guess you could like buy 100 t-shirts first and then you could start selling hats for free on the internet. I like how you can add pillowcases. But let's go and add a necklace and see what that looks like. This is one of the products that's actually made in the USA, hundred uh, percent. Some of the items they they get like the mugs they would get from China, and I think they had a problem at the start. Whenever um, just all of their their things said made in the USA and used the flag and um, worked actually, and people were really upset when they found out that their made in USA mug was actually made in China. What they mean is that it's printed and shipped from the USA, so it's like finished off in the USA. Um, but but obviously necklaces are apparently made in the USA. Um, they wouldn't say that if they they didn't mean it. So you can see from like the user experience of the whole site, it's it's really straightforward. Um, I I have some complaints about just some like graphical glitches and things, but you can't really see many of them here in this video. It's not like they're they're not nothing bad. Uh, there's there's a lot of things that they will fix. I'm sure as as the website grows and matures. Um, and I, I could imagine that we'll see a lot more like, really cool stuff from this site. Um, as long as it gets a lot of support, um, I would like to see it get some support and, and sort of grow bigger. But they, they beta tested with some of the biggest um, online sales guys. So, you know, like there should be some interest already generated around this website. I mean, maybe you bought stuff from it before. I don't know. Uh, tell me what you think. Um, but yeah, this is Alex. Um, video for readabytony.com. Come and read some reviews. No bill reviews. <laughs> And uh, thanks for watching. Take it easy.